What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and I'm kind of following up on the video I was talking about earlier today about the insane five minute old account having like basically access to over a thousand scrolls, you're getting cores, you're getting all these other things, and I decided to play for like 15 minutes just to see how things would be going along. You can see I've like barely pushed here if you want to know we're on uh like what we're on map three like we haven't done anything here we've barely done anything in the chapter system even at that actually i wonder if i could just grab this loot and double down and grab some things here we can get some like forest food but it kind of brings a really cool scenario to this here really interesting like going along and just doing all these little tasks here get you rewards which get you more progression, you get more scrolls along the way. Uh, you do have to like unlock certain things, you do have to add friends and all that. But what I found interesting was just by doing this real quickly, we're already up to 1135 heroic scrolls used. That's kind of insane. Beyond that, we take a look at the number of hero copies we have. And this is kind of interesting because if you want to start an account with Melissa as your first D5, which I honestly don't know if that's a good idea, but if you want to have fun with something, you could easily get an like E3 Melissa day one. Because if you take a look at what we already have done, uh, we did get what one extra copy we got lucky with one extra one from our heroic summons But even without that you're basically ready to 10 star her which is kind of insane to think about Beyond that you already have a decent amount of food in all these other factions I would not make any other six stars from this faction because one thing you have to remember is building a forest hero becomes very very easy because along this path, you're getting forced five-star puppets. You're getting Garuda copies. And you're even at the point of getting, where are they? Yeah, you got more five-star puppets, five-star puppets. I think you start getting six-star chests. Yeah, you get six-star ones as well at chapter uh, 18. So you're actually progressing a hero very quickly. The fact that we already have her at six-star with gear, with uh, all these stones and everything, like the upgrade materials is good. I think the best part about this event is the fact that if one thing that really, really choke holes in brand new account uh, is gold. And if you can find gold on here, that's a huge, huge boost to your account's power. Like it's absolutely insane how strong the power is. Beyond that, like I said, you're doing a ton of achievements too because you're getting so many heroes made, you're getting monthlies done. Like if you take a look at Tavern Quest, we haven't done any of those, but if you look at Fusions, we already made 23 five stars and three six stars on the very first day. Uh, probably not gonna get a lot of other things done right away, but it is kind of insane how quickly you do get these rewards. And remember, you're gonna get even more just by going past 3-10, which we could do right now because at six stars, she's actually pretty strong. She essentially is one shots anything uh, because this is like such low level stuff right here that it's not an issue. And she has a ridiculously big shield as well. Like the shield just doesn't even get touched. Let's get to 310. We'll use the last code and we'll see exactly how many heroic scrolls we're at uh, because we've, we've just used so many. This is like the most I think we've ever used on a beginning of a free to play. Normally, like we still get an E5 hero in like, one to two weeks when we start at like anniversary and stuff the only downside of events nowadays is you don't get the five star hero chest anymore and you don't get six star puppet chests anymore like those are kind of just non-existent you just don't really get them anymore but on a positive note uh one thing i actually didn't show you guys yet and we could jump out real quick we could show you i'm already at 2.5 million stellar sharks which is to be honest kind of crazy and by the end of this event we might even have more than that like that's the craziest part um so uh really interesting how this is working out i gotta say this is um this is pretty impressive like it really really is because if we just can get more gems used we can legit get to the core of origin or we can just get five million stellar shards right away or what i was also thinking is uh you could basically prep yourself to just build a transcendence melissa <laughs> literally day one when she comes out which again she is a priest here which means that's not great could you imagine if this was like alakita or something like that that you could build fast granted that would be a dark hero it would be really difficult but imagine if it was like a really strong damage dealer like betty or something you'd literally have a transcendence betty one month into the account that would be kind of insane that that would legitimately be nuts because honestly to get 20 honeycomb it's what 1100 scrolls we've already done 1100 um we get two in the free in the relay package and beyond that 
you then also need to do 1100 scrolls 32,000 gems that's that's pretty easy between all this we should be able to get like the premium maximum rewards a free to play can get without spending which is 20 honeycomb which is pretty nuts so yeah we can now exchange this code ih777 get ourselves 40 more scrolls i don't even know if we have the bag space right now do we we do 30 of them uh but yeah we high rolled one copy early which was cool we're making good progress on summoning heroes too for the monthly events and everything uh we can just keep making more six stars in other factions it shouldn't be difficult making six stars and nine stars in other factions that should actually come pretty easy to us here so we got 20 more done actually did that give us any more scrolls no it gave us some super wishing coins and stuff like that there's just so much that you can do and in reality essentially what you can do on a new account is you can take every single faction try to get like three copies of a hero like you know three fat move make a nine star and you should be able to pump this hero within the first day or so to at least an e3 now getting her to e5 you should have enough copies but that could still be debatable there's a couple things you could do one is if you do find a ton of relics you could swap the relics which i don't recommend but what you can also do is get lucky with hero copies like this and replace them and get additional melissa copies which is kind of funny because if we take a look at this we'll get what um hero no uh nope where is it where is it there's one palace crystal uh we need you 25 more and we get another five we'd have to go up to 1600 to be able to swap a second copy but if you take a look right here right now what we have uh this right here is nine star ten star e1 so we're almost e2 by the end of this event the first week you actually do continue to get a lot of scrolls and everything i wouldn't be surprised if we get to the 400 point mark which would give us uh, another hero copy for the e3 or for the e2 and then of course e3 doesn't require a copy uh but this is pretty insane if somebody wants to do this and show off an account to me because again i don't really have the time to do this right now but it's kind of insane that you could think you could have an e3 melissa like within the first 24 hours of playing you just have to take the time and continue to grind out all the chapters because the chapters are going to give you all the forest food you need to take her up to a 10 star and then you just need to get some like faction power from all these like other ones just be able to make like what three nine stars that shouldn't be too difficult and then along the way like i said you're going to be able to purchase more and more of these as time goes on as you get more gems uh, you can try to pick ones that are a little bit better geared for your account try to find the ones that have the good progress and then all these things are going to give more bulbs if, if you can max this out which we're at 11 of 40 you should be able to get like 32,000 in the first week typically that's not too bad and then you can even buy even more like i said you can buy this two more times and you could almost be at five million stellar or almost be at five million crystals of transcendence which is kind of insane so you can see how the resources just keep tumbling in from left right and center you can see right here we're gonna get 20 more once we do 25 more we get 20 more just free instantly so this is a huge snowball effect and taking her straight up to like an e5 right away uh within the first week might even be possible so it's a cool little thing to see i just kind of wanted to make sure you guys were aware how insane this event can be and then beyond that uh when you do get her e5 you can essentially v4 her right away as soon as you get the 10 star food it's literally going to take longer to get 10 star food than 5 million stellar shards which is just insane to think so hopefully you guys enjoy this one if you do this definitely hit me up i'd love to see what your progress looks like in the first week and i'll see you guys next time